Doug. And I'm Kathy. Join us as we follow the moon. Today, we're going to take you to another Thousand Trails Park. First time we'd ever been there. This is called Carolina Landing, and it's in Fair Play, South Carolina. It's actually only, I believe, four miles from the South Carolina Georgia line just off of Interstate 85. And that part of being just off the interstate is what we want to show you first how to get into the park. Now, we've just turned off of uh, eastbound Interstate 85, and I'm showing you how to come into the park because it's a little bit different. We've seen a few of these up in South Carolina, but they were new to me. This appears to be the entrance ramp from I-85 coming from the Georgia side, but you pull up right alongside of it, and this road stops and crosses the I-85 eastbound side ramp. There's a Tesla that just pulled in front of us. We're going to go across. It's going in to get charged up there along the side. <laughs> and we're now running parallel to the interstate. So it looks a little strange getting in, but it's not difficult or anything. Now this is the layout of the park. And you'll see that there's a lot of the park on the right hand side. There's a little bit more over on the left. We're going to take you through both sides of the park here as we go. It's nice kind of backcountry roads getting back to it. It was really beautiful. Beautiful yeah. scenery, yes. Come up here to one intersection. We go right through that intersection and the entrance to the park is right here very easy to get to and close by the road. Now close by the road you do get a little bit of interstate noise here in the park but it's really not too bad. No it wasn't. As you come into the park there'll be a turn off here to the right where you can park while you go in to check in. and you can also park here when you check in. That's the office from the front. And to our left is their RV storage area and it is all gated and locked, so and, everything's secure. And perfectly manicured. Yeah, the, the whole park is extremely well taken care of. As you come back into the park, it is gated And you're in the hills. Yeah, <laughs> it's very hilly in this park. Now on our left is their lodge and reception hall. This building was open while we were there. There weren't any activities going on at the time, but it does have a, a little kitchen there. It's got a TV area. It does have a few uh, billiards tables. nice facility even cornhole set yeah. up and on the end of it there's a little wooden balcony overlooking the woods and on beyond that is their maintenance area on back there so it's a very quiet area we saw people sitting there reading mm -hmm. now we're going to turn and go uphill and you will start to notice these sites are terraced but they're they're pretty unlevel at that and if i had one negative about the park is the sites are pretty unlevel yeah now there's a full court basketball court, cart. Court. Thank you. <laughs> nice swimming pool. There's volleyball, tetherball, a great playground. And a very nice miniature golf. Yeah, that's really clean. There were no weeds. It was nice. Now this is the back side of the office where we came in. And on the back side of the office are uh, bathhouses and, and restrooms. 
Again, they're a little bit older, but very nicely taken care of, all ceramic tile. The restrooms are as you come in the door, you go down the hallway and turn, and the showers are on the back side. And again, all nice ceramic tile, very well taken care of. In that building also is the laundry. And if memory serves me, I believe it was 275 for a wash, 250 for a dry. We're gonna come on past that recreation area and come on around the as we looked at the map, the right hand edge of the park. This place was so beautiful. It was, and time of year too. The, the trees were turning. It was just really, really beautiful. Yeah, don't let that sun fool you. Yeah. It was chilly. It was chilly. <laughs> Now we're going to turn to the right here and we're going to go back towards the back of the park. This was the most sparse, sparsely used area of the park. And to be honest, I'm not sure how much this part of the park is used. Uh, these are all water and electric only sites. They're not full hookup sites back here. And uh, there were a couple older rigs back in this area, but as you can see, it wasn't wasn't used much. It was very remote. Yeah. Now we're making a right. We're going to come on around this loop. And this is going to take us back into uh, what is on their map as their letter C section. And these again are back to full hookup sites. And this is as you go out towards their lake. And it's not just one part of the park that's hilly, it's all hilly. That's right. <laughs> Some of the sites are a little more level than others. We'll show you our site here at the end of the video. And it was probably one of the hilliest. Uh, I couldn't auto level on the site. Uh, our neighbor had his back tires up probably on four boards. Uh, so it's it was a bit of a challenge. Now back in this section are their cabins. And this is probably one of the few parks I've been to that I wouldn't mind having a cabin at. The, yeah, they were beautiful. These cabins are great. They are raised up off the ground. So, because the ground is not level, of course. And the view. And the view is fantastic. Yeah. This is a beautiful part oh of the gosh, park Oh my gosh, this was here. so pretty. I wish we'd had more time. Now, Look the, at that. this is looking out over the lake and their dock. And it was just beautiful. And there's your picnic spot. Mm -hmm. It was that pretty. Yeah, it was a picture, no doubt about it. Now we're going to come back around this loop and head back up into the main part of the park. As we do, you'll see the back side of these cabins and actually the front side of a couple, couple more cabins as we go along. But all the glass along the back, they've got a beautiful view looking yes. out over the lake there. And by being built on the side of the hill that way, 
they're ground level in the front, they're almost like second story in the back. And they're not really in, in each other's way because of the incline there. Now this is another bathhouse back in the back section. And now we're going back up into the main part of the park. As we come up here into the main part of the park, you'll see a little uh, road go off to my right. And that's a dump station right there. And it's made parallel to the road, so you just pull in, pull out. Pulls right back out there. And we're back up to the main part of the park. You'll see our coach sitting that's there on right. the left. Now the uh, lodge and reception hall that we talked about earlier is there on our right. The office is coming up there on our left so you can kind of get your bearings as to where we are and we're headed back towards the gate there. We're gonna make a right hand curve. You'll see the dumpsters all there. Finally, a Thousand Trails Park that has adequate dumpsters. Yeah. <laughs> There's another dump station there that we pass on the right hand side. And the building coming up on the right is their activity center and clubhouse. Now this building was not open while we were here, but they still had it all decorated. It was really pretty. Yeah. And from what we could see in from outdoors, this is the back side of it. Big fire pit back there. It was it, really a nice, nice building. Yes, it was. Now this area over here, uh, this is the F section, and these are all water and electric only also. They do have a bathhouse right there. And for not being full hookup sites, this site was pretty well used. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like the other section of, of partial hookups that we took you through. This site had a lot of activity going on in it. And it just comes straight back through the campsites and through the woods to a big turnaround area. There are campsites on that turnaround, but as I remember, the electrical bags were bagged, yes. the electrical boxes yeah. were bagged on most of them. Uh, they were not being used but the rest of the sites were all being used. Mm -hmm. Now there's that bathhouse that we saw when we first came back into this loop. We're going to go straight forward here just a little bit and take you around kind of the back side of where we came in. So you'll see those campsites over on the left and there's a whole row of them here along the outside. If you like campsites that back up to nature, there are a lot of them in this park. Yes, it was, it was a beautiful, beautiful place. This road is going to come right back up where we were. You'll see the uh, activity center and clubhouse there on the left. Lots of green space. It was one of those, it was cooler when we were there, but there was a lot of people out and walking and really taking advantage of it. 
There are the dumpsters that we mm -hmm. saw on the way back and the office straight ahead of us. We're going to make a left and just come back up here by our site. And I want to show you up close what our site was like. Now we did have a 50 amp full hookup site. And like I said, leveling on the site was the biggest challenge that we had. But uh, it was nice, it was quiet. We used every trick we could with our air level suspension and our, and our uh, jacks. It, with 40 foot for the coach, we had enough room to put the car longwise in front of it, but that was it. Now the hookups were all down the side. Uh, all the hookups were good, electrical was great. We had a fire pit between us and our neighbor. But take a look at the picnic table when I'm telling you about how unlevel it is. One side's on the ground and the other side was set on blocks. So Kathy, overall, what did you think of Carolina Landing? Oh, I loved it. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful park. It was hilly. If you have a big rig, it's a little bit harder to find a good size big rig spot. The section we were in was all 50 amp and most of the big rigs were going up that hill. Mm -hmm. But leveling is a little bit of a challenge, so just be prepared. Parks very well taken care of, uh, very well maintained, and very, very friendly. When we first got there, one thing we hadn't shared with you, it was raining. And the girl says, I've got two 50 amp full hookup sites. Come with me. We're going to take a ride in the golf cart. Put me in the golf cart with the rain uh, shields on the side and took me and showed me both sites to let me have my pick of them. So they're very nice, very accommodating. We really did enjoy the park, but just be prepared. It's going to be a little work to, to level yourself out. With that said, we hope you've enjoyed. If you're planning on going to the park, be sure and watch the video again beforehand so you get an idea as, to par as far as what section you may want to be in. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so and ring that notification bell. We sure appreciate that. And if you liked the video today, leave us a thumbs up. And thank you for following us as we follow the moon. Thanks. Thanks for watching today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when new videos come out. Don't forget to follow us on social media too.